This video is on the chapter of vectors in vector spaces and now we turn the page and from dot product and we get into the concept of norm uh, or length um, of a vector in a vector space Rn. <clears throat> so we have a vector u with components u1, u2, etc. till un. This u is a vector in the vector space Rn. We call a norm or length of the vector u. Uh, and we write it this way. So u is the square root of the inner product a few times u. So this would be u1 times u1, right? Because this is u inner product with u plus u2 times u2. Okay, till the last one, un times un. All this with a square root, okay? So we're going to get u1 times u1, that's u1 squared plus u2 squared, etc. component one by one, um, till un squared. Uh, okay. I was just going to say that um, sometimes it's easier to write this this way. Okay, don't forget we have a square here. So we can write u1 squared plus u2 squared plus plus un squared, okay? And you keep the square here. And sometimes the notation here is easier to handle. So in one of the first videos we um, we got this definition of vector u. Um, in this case, we have u in R2, right? So it's a vector from the origin to this point. Let us say this point is point AB, and this is vector u. So at the end of the day, vector u would be A minus 0 b minus 0 because these vectors are taking are taken considering the origin 0 okay so the <clears throat> the the end point this point b is the end point of vector u okay if you If you look well, so this would be the distance of A. This is point A in the x-axis, okay? And this one is the distance B, okay? So A and B are the, length of the lengths of the sides of the right triangle, okay? formed by u and the horizontal and vertical directions. Okay, now using Pyth Pythagoras uh, we can say that uh, we have vector u, so this vector length of vector u squared equals a squared plus b squared, right? So we can say that vector u is a squared plus b squared under square root. Okay? This is vector u. Vector u. Well, okay, but what we said here is exactly the same as we said here. At the end of the day, this is the same, right? Vector u squared equals, for instance, if you only have 1 and 2, that will be 1 squared plus u squared, right? 
so we can say that um, the 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 length, so to speak, yes, not so to speak. The length is the norm. Okay. Okay, so a set Rn or a space, a vector, vector space Rn with a vector addition. And we also saw this scalar multiplication. So a space Rn with vector addition, scalar multiplication, and an inner product defined so that we have a notion of distance or length. If you have all this, you have a real Euclidean N space. Okay, quick question. We say that u and v, if u and v equals zero, we say that these two vectors are um, perpendicular. Okay. So. Uh, okay. Okay, let us say you have two perpendicular vectors, u times v equals zero. If u times v equals zero, meaning if the vectors are perpendicular, what is u plus v? Well, u plus v um, will be u plus v times u plus v, right? But this is nothing else than u times u uh, plus zero. I'm going to write on the next line this. So, so u times u is u times u. u times v is zero. v times u is zero. And v times v. So this is u plus v. But, uh, uh, I'm sorry, what is u plus v squared? Oh, I forgot to, to write square here. Okay, what is u plus v squared? That will be u plus v times u plus v, so u times u, and this is u squared, so this is u squared, and this will be v squared. Okay? Okay, and this is nothing else but the Pythagoras, right? This is the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so... Uh, so we call all this Euclidean geometry, okay? And we say since this is true, we say that Rn is an Euclidean space, okay? Because you have Pythagoras, you only have in uh, Euclidean geometry.